All right, welcome back, everybody. It's your boy, Motor Man Dan. Today, we're going to be talking about the Wind Belt, short-ranged AoE crowd control that pushes enemies. Secondary can be used to pick up light and heavy enemies. You have to push 500 enemies for the primary in order to complete the unique upgrades, which is either to increase knockback force or enemies thrown by secondary attack explode. The level upgrades are to reduce mana cost. Personally, I use the increased knockback force just because the secondary for the Wind Belt is a little bit finicky. You gotta line up correctly, be in the right place compared to the enemy. And anyways, it's just too much to hassle with. So I just I just use the left mouse button. I hardly ever use the right, unless I'm gonna test something. But we're gonna hop into a game and look at what that looks like here. Uh, after we look at the game file. So the first thing to see is that you have all this max range crap. You know, range and launch speed and launch angle and everything. That's all arbitrary because it depends on where you are in comparison to the enemy and where the enemy is and everything else and what how heavy the enemy is and stuff um the secondary explosion damage and range comes with the unique upgrade which is 25 damage in a um four grid square uh area which is actually pretty good well the area of effect is maybe not the secondary explosion um if you're going to use it and you're going to go for combos you might want to use that one because it'll give you the combos whereas the other one will just help you knock stuff back, I guess. Uh, but the secondary mana cost is 40. The primary mana cost is 30. So it takes mana to use the Wind Belt in any situation. Now, they did make a recent change. I guess, let's say recent. I mean, that's that's um, relative, I guess. But um, I think it was the last update they did. They caused Wind Belt and Flip Trap and, and any other physics damage-based or physics-based uh, stuff, uh, they've made it all um, uh, do, like, 10 damage minimum. So every time you use it, you're going to do, like, 10 damage, you knock it back. I wish they did not do that. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if that adds to a combo or not. I don't think it does. It's just, like, the physics part of it. Um, that's what they take the damage from. They don't actually take the damage from the wind belt. Um, but, you know, I kind of wish they didn't include that, so that way it's easy to manipulate and you can really farm a lot of combos with the wind belt if they did not do that because you can just keep pushing them back and pushing them back wait for your traps to come off cool down and then let them you know let them go into your kill box again and, and rack up all those combo points but i digress um so that's the attributes if we go to the weapon protos we're going to uh see here that is a uh, 0.2 second ability cooldown which is the primary ability so you get five attacks per second uh, the status effect is going to be launched uh, because, you know, they're going to be in the air. Um, so they're going to take double damage from all sources while they're in the air. And that's about it to see from here. Oh, uh, it does cost five skulls to unlock. All right. The unique, or the uh, upgrades, level upgrades is to reduce mana cost uh, by three. No, that's not right. Oh, I'm in the wrong place. Here we are. Wind belt, level two. All right. Reduce mana cost by five for both primary and secondary. 5 for both primary and secondary. And again, 10 and then 5. For primary is minus 10. Secondary is minus 5. So that makes your primary become uh, 10 mana per cast and your secondary 25 mana per cast. That's what it costs in the end. Uh, and then you have your increased knockback force by uh, 50,000. So if we go back over here, we can see your... So for the primary launch speed, it's uh, 50,000, which is a 50% bonus launch speed. Um, and then the range is 1,200, which is a 77.4% bonus range buff. Uh, if that's accurate, I don't know, because we don't really know that much about the physics um, calculations. That could not be correct. Um, <clears throat> but if you're you know, wondering what we have as far as physics are concerned, you can uh, feel free to check out the deep dive into flip trap video. We cover uh, what we know and what we don't know there in more detail. Um, and then the other one is secondary explodes target. As we saw um, earlier, uh, it becomes uh, 25 damage in a four grid square uh, area. All righty then. Uh, that's really all to say there's a wind belt hold status effect, but you're just holding the enemy. I mean, it doesn't do damage or anything. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, let's just jump into the into a game real quick and take a take a quick peek at what you can do with it. All right, so here I've used my secondary, and if I cast him, he's gonna take fall damage. Boom. But 
if I take him and I switch to something else, he doesn't take fall damage. I can do that with uh, traps as well. So I switch to three. Boom. Now he's able to run. Um, that's really all there is to add to it. Um, other than the their flight, you know, you can blast them. Um, oh, you didn't take damage. Oh, you should have taken damage. Oh, well. All right. So let's see it again. So we go to... Uh, it doesn't matter where we go. Boom. And... He's on the ground. This is a really good way to test everything. Whenever I made the wiki page, that's what I would do is I would go to either uh, Great Room or I would go to Close Quarters and I would use the Wind Belt to, to pull people and put them down and stone staff them, build the traps and see what the traps did to them. <clears throat> and that way they wouldn't take any damage until then I could figure out, you know, their ogres had 400 health and stuff like that because I would, you know, um, look at the post game stats and those two you could play on Endless and Endless shows you the post game stats of damage dealt by traps and other things like that. Although it's not 100% accurate, depends on the traps and the weapons, uh, it's relatively accurate uh, for what you need. But now that we have the game files, we don't need to do that. But how, however, that's how I tested a lot, was using the secondary wind belt. The secondary wind belt used to not uh, cause them to take fall damage. Um, y you would just, like, throw them, and then they would just be there. Uh, and maybe maybe that's what I was remembering. Maybe the... But does that not actually... Oh, it does, yeah. Okay, I don't know why I didn't take damage before. Um, but yeah, I, that did not used to do damage, and the right mouse button tossing did not used to do damage either. Now it does. Um, so, it is what it is. Alright, cool. Uh, that being said, guys, let me know if you like the wind belt, if you don't like the wind belt, if you use it, if you don't use it, why, why not? And as always, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, follow, subscribe, and subscribe to the Twitch, and I will catch you on the flip side. Alright, deuces.